Hello viewers, welcome to EQ International Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today we have Mr. Sai Charan with us from Jinko Solar. A very warm welcome to EQ, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, can you just let us know about uh, Jinko, the journey of Jinko Solar, like how it came to the solar industry and what are your uh, p uh, product services that you are uh, presenting here? Yeah, you uh, specific to Jinko Solar? Jinko Solar is a vertical integrated solar PV module manufacturer where in which right from the day of our inception starting from 2006 onwards we started looking at you know manufacturing right right from the scratch which is starting from polysilicon polysilicon to ingot ingot to wafer wafer to cell and then cell to module so all this particular vertical integrated mechanism of manufacturing started from our end and now we are providing solar PV modules which is well known in the market from the last 10 12 years where in which you could see the kind of traction where we have made within the market is more importantly on improving the power density and energy density. That's how you can see Jinko Solar as a kind of global technology leader as when compared with the other players who always try to be as a kind of technology followers. But Jinko Solar is more, you know, instituted more in the on the on the fronts of technology aspects, which is why we are technology leader. And specific to the products, if you just ask me what kind of different products that we offer, it's completely happening with Topcon Tiger Neo kind of series where selective emitter is a kind of new development on the plain topcon kind of technology which is what you can see as what we have displayed within our stall that's great so what about the distribution of your products like uh, in which all areas uh, you need to cater like as well as what are your export plans right specific to the different kinds of products what we try to provide as a kind of uh, export mechanism right from china or from malaysia or vietnam or us kind of markets what we importantly look at is these particular high energy density kind of products that we try to provide in 182 by 182 mm wafer size kind of modules which generally comes with 2278 by 1134 as a kind of standard dimension which can cater the power class up to 585, 590 kind of power class. Going forward what easily we could, we could see is that rectangular wafer is going to make much more sense in the market with standard dimension where most of the other manufacturers are also trying to concentrate on the same line. 2382 by 1134 is a kind of standard dimension which is what is going to happen and with this the, the maximum power class is going to touch around like 620 625 watt peak with the maximum efficiency as a kind of high power density product with more than 23.2 percent kind of efficiencies and looking at the back end of this particular thing where the maximum efficiency of this cell within the laboratory has already reached to 26.4 percent so this is one of the very good sign within the industry specific to topcon kind of technology where rest all other PE manufacturers also started manufacturing more specific to this particular 26.4 percent efficiency efficient products of topcon and that's where we could see traction of the entire market is moving towards topcon rather than any other back-end technologies which is what is happening yeah, so sir uh, if you can just give highlight on the project projects that are in pipeline and as you know the te uh, technology is uh, changing evolving uh, day by day so what are your strategies for coming year 2024 yeah, specific to 2024, our strategy is uh, we, we made it very clear that what exactly is required for the market and for any kind of project. At the end of the day, they try to look for LCOE as a kind of major segment when it comes for the solar side and when you try to talk about energy storage, LCOE. So we are always trying to concentrate on these particular two parameters of LCOE, reducing the LCOE specific to solar PV projects and reducing the LCOEs by 20% within this particular energy storage kind of thing. And we have driven our strategy in such a way that specific to solar PV, we provide our existing standard model of Tiger Neo series, which is there up to 620 kind of power class with rectangular wafer and 635 with our square wafer, which is there with 78 cell. And that's going to cater all kinds of needs in the market. And when it comes for the energy storage kind of thing, with the with the and what we have done within our contained solution, what we have, which is which is named as Sun Terra kind of solution, which generally comes with 3.44 gigawatt the kind of high energy density for a 20 feet container kind of thing so with these particular two products in place definitely all kinds of projects which are coming through nhpc ntpc seki or you name any kind of cndi project specific to energy storage this particular product of center is going to lead the market from trend and when it comes to solar pv kind of segment definitely our tiger neo series it's not a just kind of popcorn kind of technology but yes it's more on selective emitter configured technology which we are 
focusing on that and we are improving that particular technology with better energy density and better power density that's how we're moving forward that's great sir we wish you all the very best for your coming uh, projects and thank you so much for being with us sir